Issuing a document in the end of apprenticeship is a crucial step to conclude it. Different countries have different schemes, but documenting the completion is crucial. The process may involve special organizations that issue a certificate under local legislation or just getting your efforts evaluated as a study course in your educational institution. In the second scenario, there is no certifying organization and going through an assessment as a part of curricula is sufficient to conclude the apprenticeship. This means that in some cases, certificate can be equal to university or a school diploma. So the system varies greatly between countries and you should contact the local authorities to get detailed information. It is also important that the certificate fulfills requirements of a particular country. So remember, if you have apprentices wanting to join you from a foreign country, make sure what they need in the end before you accept them as your colleagues. Special certification systems are usually in place for vocational education and training schools that offer training in specific trades. In these schools, most of the studies take place in real work placements and theoretical studies form only a minor part. For example, in Järvama Vocational School in Estonia, waterworks operators have two years study program, of which one third is theoretical studies and two thirds is working in real work placements. On the other hand, professional higher education institutions have more theory classes and less time in real working placements. The students can also choose apprenticeship placements from a larger variety of trades and companies. Because of it, handing out certificate is often more complicated. There is no one and only profession the students will aim at, and acquired skills can be different. In such curricula, apprenticeship is usually part of the curriculum and getting an assessment in a study course means that the student has met the goals of the apprenticeship. So the only acquired document is the final diploma of the school. But there are discussions to increase the part of studies what will be covered by companies in such schools as well. Whichever system is in place in your country or trade, it is important that the completion of the apprenticeship is somehow documented and can be later validated if needed. Remember, to get a certificate or an assessment, the student must fulfill the syllabus that the school and the company are requiring. So planning the apprenticeship is a critical step to get to the end. Remember that every subject has a detailed syllabus and a list of learning outcomes. These are the things that a student must know and understand in the end. The list may also include practical skills that the student must acquire during the training. All these skills must be evaluated during an exam, practical tests or by any other means. This evaluation process should ensure that the level and knowledge of the student fulfills the syllabus learning outcomes. There are some professions where there is a separate evaluation step in the end. For example, in Estonia, it is organized for waterworks operators, nurses and some other trades. There, this process is covered by a professional exam, which is the same for every applicant, regardless of the school. So it is important to know your local system and from what sort of schools your apprentices are coming. You can find out additional information on apprenticeship certification systems on apprenticeshiptoolbox.eu.